All right, guys, so the LRB Pan Extreme Challenge campaign, as well as her Extreme Z area event, have officially arrived on Global. And in today's video, we're going to be checking out the campaign details, as well as doing our first run through the Extreme Z area event. Now, I'm going to be honest with you for a minute. Um, a few hours ago, I scheduled a stream for the Extreme Z area because I had forgotten that... It was something you could only do once a week and you only got like between you know 10 to 20 medals per run so you can't really you know grind it out in like one session like some of the other extreme z areas and uh about 30 minutes after i scheduled the stream i got a call from toon rami and he was like yo i saw your stream and you know the b pan event is only once a week right and i was like right that's a thing. So shout out to Toon Rami for uh, saving me the trouble, for saving me some potential embarrassment. That's, uh, that's a real homie right there. And anyways, with all that said, let's check out the campaign details. It says Extreme Z Area Pan Secret Adventure, which can be attempted once per seven days, is on. Don't miss out on the Extreme Z Awakening of LR Wings spread out to the Cosmos Pan GT Honey. Um, in addition, Extreme Challenge Special Missions are also available. Let LR wings spread out to the cosmos. I'm not going to say it every time, but LRB Pan undergo three steps of Extreme Z Awakening to obtain a total of 15 Dragon Stones. Moreover, you can recruit five Elder Kai's by leveling up her super attack to level 25. Raise the following characters who need to be included on your team when attempting the Extreme Z area and aim to Extreme Z, Extreme Z Awaken LR B Pan. So the five characters uh, that you need on your team to, or rather not five, uh, sorry, six characters, right? Six characters that you need to Extreme Z Awaken the LR B Pan, or rather to take on her Extreme Z area event are these ones, the April Fool's Goku, the April Fool's Vegeta, the um, Tech Candy Vegito, as well as the Ghost Tanks, Kid Saiyaman, and also uh, Grandpa Gohan and GT Pan. And all six of them have to be rainbowed, as well as fully Extreme Z Awakened. And from there, we also have 50 story keys that can be obtained upon the first login during the campaign period. Because, um, you know, they didn't really bring back these events, which doesn't make any sense to me. Um, I heard it was the same thing on JP, so it's not exactly like a global shaft or anything like that, so don't take it that way, but it's just very strange, guys. It's very strange that they have this legendary campaign, right? And they have these like units we need for the Extreme Z area, and instead of just bringing back the events, you know, like they could do very easily, I feel like. Is it really that hard? I don't know. But I feel like they could have just easily brought back the events instead of giving us story keys and like going through the portal of memories. It's just kind of weird. But anyways, um, yeah, the, uh, these are the events you need to, you know, run to uh, get all these units. And then of course, you have to go through the special character Extreme Z area to Extreme Z Awaken, all six of them, okay? And from there, we have uh, some more event details, obviously the Extreme Z area is there, and then we have the Extreme Challenge Special Missions, where we get 15 stones in total for fully Extreme Z Awakening the LRB Pan from steps 1 to 3, and then 5 more Elder Kai's for getting her to Super Attack 25, and uh, there's the Extreme Z area for the special characters, and that's pretty much it. So in total, 15 Dragon Stones, 5 Elder Kai's, uh, 50 story keys, and that is pretty much the legendary campaign. And from there, let's check out the Extreme Z area event. Um, I don't really think there's anything new here, actually. It shows you the required characters, which are these six, and that is pretty much it. Oh, a uh, hundred and third. Holy crap, I didn't know this. 130 stamina will be consumed when attempting this event. Now, one question I do have, and I'm pretty sure I know the answer, but since I haven't done the event yet, I'm not 100% sure. Um, if you fail, right, if you die, like, this week, right, do you just lose 
that run for the week, like, are you just screwed? Because that would really suck, you know? Like, if you only have one attempt per week, and you, like, aren't able to beat it, unless it's really easy. We'll see. Okay, let's find out how hard it actually is. There's the event. Wait, what? This event will become available after meeting the following conditions. Clear all stages of the above event on all the... I did! It must be a glitch. It must be a glitch. Okay, let me try to reset this. And we'll restart our game. Hopefully, it lets us uh, do the event. Because I know this happens sometimes. If you guys are having the same issue, just try restarting your game. See if that helps. Because I think this will fix it. I'm a little bit concerned. But we should be fine. Should be fine. Okay, so... To the event. Let me do it this time. There we go. Okay, we're fine. So yeah, just reset the game. You guys will be okay. 130 stamina. That's insane. And the special friend they give you is the Extremes Awakened April Fool's Goku. There's my full team. Rainbowed, fully Extremes Awakened, SA-15. Now, Super Attack 15 is not required, but obviously it helps. So if you guys, you know, have the time, I would get all the units to Super Attack 15 as well. And uh, let's jump in. Let's jump in. Now, I know there are two nodes that give you five medals each. And then if you get a question mark, you could also get 10 medals. So unfortunately, we didn't get a question mark. So it looks like we're only going to get 10 for this week. You need 45 medals in total to fully Extreme Z Awaken LRB Pan. So if you're unlucky, then it would take up to five weeks to get her, get all the medals to Extreme Z Awaken her. If you are you know, really lucky, then I guess the most it would take would be, or, or the least amount of weeks it would take to get all her medals is three weeks. Because if you get like a question mark and then a regular one, that's 15 medals, right? So 15 times three, that would be 45 medals and you'd be good. But uh, of course, we did not get that lucky. All right. Um, I'm not exactly sure how hard this girl's gonna hit. I am a little bit worried, but I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be fine. Uh, so let's give all these rainbow orbs to ghost tanks. That's gonna give him, you know, a decent amount of HP, or not HP, uh, defense rather. And let's try to give some good orbs to Andy Bajito as well. And let's see what happens. I mean, regarding my question from before, I don't even know if it's possible to die on this event. Maybe they made it easy enough where, like, you're guaranteed to beat it. Okay, we took 34k there. How much HP do we have? I kind of missed that. Oh, we have 150k. Okay, so, so, so we're good. We should be fine. But, like, if you somehow die, I'm just wondering, like, do you, do you just lose that chance? Like, are you just... Are you just screwed? Okay, um, we're definitely gonna put this Goku there. Now, the... The Vegeta is in a bit of a weird spot, right? Because he doesn't get any of the leader skill from Goku's, from the two Goku's. So it's going to be hard to get a super attack off for him. But I think it should be okay. I think it should be okay. I mean, B-Pan's going down pretty quick. And there you go. He's dead. So I don't think you have to worry too much about uh you know dying i guess it's theoretically possible but it's probably pretty hard if you have you know everyone i mean you have to have everyone fully rainbowed and extreme z awakened so you probably won't die you probably won't die and there you go guys we got our 10 medals probably four more weeks to go and then we'll be able to get our lrb pan easy aid now with those 10 medals i do think we can at least perform the first step for Extremes the Awakening, so let's do that real quick. Yes, there we go. So, super attack 22 B Pan, and I'm gonna just give her a few Kai's. Ooh, hold on, let's let's see if we can somehow clutch this and get a 1% increase. Okay, nothing there. Let's try five more. It's not like I'm going to do anything with these SSRs anyways. Oh my. Oh 
Okay. Okay, let's try the last one. Boom. And okay, I mean that was that was asking for too much, but one percent guys, one percent chance. And it actually worked. And now these 30% sleepy guys are gonna do nothing. Watch. Oh, there we go. Alright, so perfect. <laughs> Pretty good RNG today, not gonna lie. And uh there you have it guys. Our LRB pan performed the first step. Now we just need 30 more medals. Or rather 35 more medals. And uh, she'll be done for now, though. That's going to be it for me. Um, yeah. <laughs> That's the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you guys need any help with, uh, you know, any of the characters, any of the, you know, requirements for the event, feel free to leave a question in the comments. And uh, either myself or somebody else who is knowledgeable about the game will try to help you out. But, uh... Yeah, guys, that's going to be it. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.